today we're looking at what is LTEA. Uh, people, especially in South Africa, are quoting um, some of the operators putting in LTA. I think the first part to say is that it stands for LTE Advanced. That's where the A abbreviation comes from. But LTE has been a set of releases. Um, the one that was first implemented in South Africa was LTE Release 8. Oops, LTE Release 8. And LTE Advanced is effectively LTE Release 10. It's got a huge amount of technical improvements in the sense that it can use much larger bandwidth um, but the ones that I want to focus on is most probably what for users is important and um, they're claiming LTE Advance will go up to 1.5 gigabits per second down downlink and 3 gigahertz giga, sorry, gigabits per second uplink so clearly a massive improvement um, to what we had with the normal LTEs I don't suspect the first ones will go that far the part that's interesting to us doing antennas is that they also claim that the base stations, which got another designation in the LTE, will use 8x8 eight eight MIMO, so 8 antennas for transmit and receive. And the user terminals will use 4x4. Four four. Now, for anyone that understands the terminology, this is actually garbage because the one refers to the transmit and one receive, so it's actually, in my opinion, 8x4 MIMO. But let me not argue with the experts that claim so it's actually just eight antennas on the base station employing MIMO and four antennas on the user terminal. Clearly new user terminals will be required that actually can support four antennas being linked to it. So quite an exciting development. Um, won't immediately get there, most probably may not use this. It's backwards compatible so that's an important point to remember. So you will not with the LTEA have to for example use um, for if your modem can only do LTE release 8 it will still do it like the old standards that